Hey, welcome to this radio channel. And um, today we're going to take a little look at a website that I very, very often go to, um, which is heham.net. And um, I'm going to talk specifically today about the section of reviews on equipment because what I like about this, you know, you can have reviews of equipment from me, from, you know, great websites like uh, shortwavelistening.com. Um, you know, you got some YouTube videos also like Hamrad88, a great uh, reviewer of radios. But it's fun to have, you know, a spot where you get like tens or hundreds of small reviews from actual everyday people using equipment and saying what they honestly think about it. Um, it's fun to see that and the review section of heham.net is fun for that. Now what's cool is you've got a lot of sections here so you can see all sorts of categories from uh, HF or shortwave accessories, antennas, uh, all sorts of equipment for amateur radio use and uh, here specifically I want to talk about radios and when you're here and actually I'll post the link to this website on the description below the video on the right side here you get search reviews so say I want to find a review of um, an old receiver like for example my realistic DX100 so I'll type realistic DX and see what comes up and here you go you've got realistic DX you just search for your receiver that you want to have a review so let's see DX100 is probably here somewhere here it goes uh, realistic DX100 general coverage you can click here now this one is only one but on it depends on how it's written so sometimes uh, for example, here is general coverage. Now here you have rating, you have uh, the date, and you have his own little take on it. But you know what? There's also probably one that's more specific for the DX100. If we continue watching here, uh, DX100. There's another one here, which uh, is that one. Let's see here. There must be one that, um, you know, you just have to go through it and you see that um, there are different ways. Let's pin it down and just make it even more precise. So let's uh, go here and just type DX-100 and pin it to specifically. So it gives you an idea that a lot of the reviews are here. So you can go to the reviews of this receiver and click each review if you want and so on. Um, every Probably, probably every receiver that existed and exists today has some form of review. So if you like, uh, take a look at uh, Texan uh, PL680. Let's see if it's there. Uh, we just click here, and no, it doesn't say that it's there, but we can maybe pin down at PL, see what we have. It will happen that some receivers do not have reviews, but most of them, you see, here are lots of reviews of the PL660, PL880. So the idea behind this is search your receiver and check out what people think of the receiver. So let's try PL880, for example, seems to have a... Um, it's very sensitive to how you type the name, by the way, so that's why sometimes it doesn't work well. Whoops, I didn't enter the correct. It's a dash 880. And let's try it out here. And there it goes. These are all the PL880 um, you know, reviews. So you can click reviews and check them up and see what people think of these products. What's nice is, you know, these are non-technical people for most part just saying, okay, this is what I think about this radio. You always have a rating on the radio. And um, you can even write your own review if you want of a receiver. For example, if the PL680 doesn't have one, I should probably write one. You'll have to be a member to write one. So to do that, you have to uh, actually subscribe to this website, which is a free subscription. And, uh, you know, just take a look at reviews of anything that you want to find. So for example, if you want to search for something else, you know what, you can click here to show all reviews, by the way, 
in which you'll have the full list of reviews and have the summary with very often there's a picture of that radio also that you can check the information from and uh, so you know whatever you want to search for have a review check it out here it's a great place for that um, it's one of the places I go very often sometimes I see old receivers uh, say I go somewhere and it's like okay hmm what's the review of the Kenwood R600 I've seen at a flea market you can click there and here you have the reviews you can say okay let's check out the reviews R600 uh, you can of course click show all reviews of the Kenwood R600 and it shows you of course here the picture sometimes there's a uh, MSRP which means the mean uh, retail price that people paid for the receiver uh, then you have number of reviews a rating and you have the details just below it so check it out great little place uh, that is uh, often you know when you search for a review of a receiver I've noticed that this website comes up quite often but um, you know for new review new receivers but uh, you know if you're looking at an old receiver from a flea market and anywhere this is a great place it has the reviews of almost anything so check it out and like I said even you know am radio equipment and antennas check it out uh, and check out the reviews it's a nice little place to go through and it's a nice place to also have a little more detail about you know specific receivers for example if you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when your videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, uh, please feel free to ask. It's always fun to have your feedback. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. helps us on the ratings on YouTube. And uh, hopefully you will come back to our channel. Thank you for watching.